Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Iran, learning a lesson the United States has had to learn over and over and over again. Um, because the reporting now suggests, and the information coming out of Iran now suggests, that Iran is, well, they're concerned about the actions of some of the groups they have historically supported. Um, feeling that maybe they're going a little bit too far and that Iran itself might end up paying the price for that. So if you don't know what's going on, there are a lot of non-state actors all over the Middle East that Iran has supported and they have they have pumped them up and been like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fight the West in every way, shape and form. The thing is Iran, the Iranian government doesn't actually mean that. That's just something to, to, to pump up the non-state actors and get them hyped. The non-state actors do believe that, as is often the case in, in situations like this. So some of the groups that they have been uh, supporting, some of the groups that the Western media calls their proxies, well, they're trying to do what they've always talked about. And Iran's like, whoa, 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 hang on a second. <laughs> you understand, you're, you're upsetting the Chinese and the Indian governments, right? You can't do that. Those are our allies. Looking at you, Houthis. Um, so it's causing an issue there. Now, in Iraq, the groups that they have supported there, well, they want to go after the U.S. Because Iran's always been like, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. And now they're realizing that that's not really what the Iranian government wants. Um, it is important to remember that rhetoric and foreign policy don't actually line up. Uh, so, here's the, uh, here's the thing. Right now, the U.S. is looking at Iran, and it's that meme with the guy with his head in the noose. <laughs> First time? Because Iran is having to deal with something the U.S. has had to deal with numerous times, where the U.S. trains a group, arms it, organizes it, uses it for a little bit, or uh, completely uses it to accomplish its goal, and then later there's an issue with something they have decided to do, which more than likely was actually in line with the rhetoric that caused the U.S. to support them to begin with. But, you know, things happen. Iran is dealing with this now. Uh, there is a strong indication that Iran has now told the Houthis and the groups in, in Iraq and north of Israel to chill out. The problem is those groups, they actually believe all of the rhetoric that Iran has espoused. Um, so this... This could lead to a lot of very unique situations, um, especially if Iran wants to ensure that Iran itself is not punished for the actions of the non-state actors. I mean, one of the easy ways to make sure that doesn't happen is to make sure that when the West does respond, it knows exactly where those non-state actors are. Yeah, things are about to get real dirty in the Middle East. Um, it is important to remember that there were a lot of countries that told the Palestinians for years, if you generate that public outcry, if you get the international community on your side, we will be there to back you up. And now that's happened. And none of those countries are showing up. You have to ask why. There are a bunch of reasons. You can go to the video on the second channel. Uh, let's talk about the roads or the roads to foreign policy dynamics. Um, but the short version is none of those countries are going to try to pose an existential threat to Israel, a nuclear power. They're not going to try to take territory from it. It was all a lie to keep the Palestinians hyped up. The same way it was all a lie to keep the Houthis hyped up, to keep the groups in Iraq hyped up. Iran doesn't actually mean any of that. 
but it has said it. It has armed them. And now it's in a situation where it very well may end up paying the cost for the actions of its proxies. Something that there are strong indications that Iran wants to avoid. Um, there, there are probably going to be some pretty unique developments over the next uh, week, maybe two. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.